We've all seen the news the MV ever given is blocking the Suez Canal. But why can't they just pull it out? Why can't they just dig it free? I will in this video illustrate some of the challenges that they're facing and explain why it's such a big problem to get it free. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. First, we need to know that in the south of the Suez Canal, there's a single canal. And in the north, there are dual canals or two canals. And the evergreen is stuck in the south and not the north. In the north, this would never have been a problem since there are two canals. We need to understand that the vessel is 400 meters long and goes as deep as 15 meters or 45 feet. Also, the total weight of the vessel is 200,000 tons. That is the same as 200,000 cars. When floating, a top vessel can easily move the vessel around, but the vessel is not floating anymore. It's landed on the beach. In the picture, we see that the nose of the vessel has hit land. What is difficult to see is that the nose is just the tip of the iceberg. Since the vessel may go as deep as 15 meters, it is very likely that the vessel at this point is about 15 meters embedded into the seabed. Since the vessel is now on the sand, it has become a frictional problem to move the vessel. This is the same as when we are dragging